Okay, how can I create a foldable system without hinges? One of the things that I love about this space here, this is like my playhouse and I wanted to kind of fit whatever I'm working on at the moment so that you can find little nooks for things and kind of create stations. And one of the stations that I'm missing is a place to paint, sketch, draw out designs manually by hand, not the computer. So where in this little workshop could I create such a designated drafting corner? Now, I recently moved my workbench to the center of the shop and I placed my little armchair in the corner behind the door. Now I haven't actually used it much so let's redo this tiny space and turn it into something useful. I have this guy right here and this up here is a little high to be painting you know. What if I build like a little fold-out table here at the right height? So this is kind of what I'm working on right now. No. This is about as far from, from fancy as you could possibly get. This is really like using whatever scraps I have and I'm just trying to kind of wing it as I go along. Let me show you kind of where I'm at at this point. So piece of scrap plywood here, pieces of scrap plywood that I used to use as a palette suitable for this project and I have drilled holes uh, with a rod here. I was just like thinking I don't have any hinges. <laughs> I don't feel like going to the hardware store or anything like that. You know, one of those days, I wasn't even going to build anything today. This is why I'm like, I'm not wearing building clothes. But then I was like, ah, I feel like doing it anyway, so whatever. So it's kind of like, it's like a little tray, I guess you could say. And these are just screwed in here. I have these um, kind of hooks. And um, these hooks are kind of cool. They can go on the side there and I can hook this up. So let's do that. And then let's worry on the, about the second part later. <laughs> the other thing I'm thinking about too is that I would love to kind of keep this at a slight angle. Um, so obviously this would work too, especially if it's at a lower position, but no, I really want it at an angle. So that's the part we have to figure out after the fact <laughs> of just getting this up here. If I wanted this chair, I mean, it's relatively low to the ground. This is also on wheels, so I could move this around if I wanted to. I think this could be kind of cool. And I'm, I'm thinking about doing like a little um, tray, like a little cap piece here too, so you could just like put a piece here, um, you had a canvas or a, you could tape a piece of paper onto here as well if you have like oil paper or something thicker like that and then paint right here there you know what i initially had here i had holders for um drills and stuff on this wall here which was the stupidest thing ever never worked right so right there i really love these kind of building projects where you just kind of go with the flow. You'll see if it works out. I think that's really fun. And it's a perfect for scrap. Let's see if I'm gonna be poking out of the drawer there. Now the idea is not that there's gonna be a lot of weight on this. I'm not even gonna really lean my hands on here. So I don't care too much about like, doesn't need to be able to hold a lot of weight. Yeah, that's about as far as I wanna go in there unless I uh, file it down. Okay, cool. So now I have this here. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool because it's pretty far out. There's a little wiggle room. Now our question is we need some sort of system where we can control the angle. Or just set an angle that I want and keep it at that. And then when you're not using it, I want it to just hang like that. Okay, I have an idea. Maybe it's even too simple. I mean, it's very basic and that's kind of what I'm going for right now. So remember th saying, remember how I was saying that I want a cap piece here so that I could put a canvas or whatever? I was thinking, what if I put the cap piece like this and it goes down a little bit too? And then what if I put like a piece of wood here? Um, and then depending on the length of this piece right here, I could just put it on here and then kind of have it rest on the ledge, which would be at the bottom. <laughs> I think it could work. Let's start with this ledge. And so basically I can just take it off. How cool is that? Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we have our little ledge. I actually think something like this is gonna work. So I just chopped off this piece a little bit and let's see if we can figure this out in terms of proof of concept. So we kind of butt this up here and then let's see, it's gonna rest in a ledge there. Um, the only thing that would kind of like unsecure it, I suppose, is if you like went up there. 
but when you're sitting down this is great and then once you're done you just bring it down okay put this here we'll let the rest right there and I have my system I feel rather happy about this because this was like one of those last minute projects that I was like how can I make this happen without hinges how can I create a fold down table at an angle that I could use for painting and, and that when I don't want it up I can just bring it down look at that now this corner um, suddenly feels a lot more useful because before it was nothing and I was thinking to myself what a stupid waste of a chair because I haven't really been sitting here because I felt kind of weird sitting against the door but now when I'm doing this with this purpose in mind I feel like I'm looking out over the shop and that's kind of kind of a nice idea good morning it's a fresh day here today and I was thinking when I woke up this morning am I gonna like this as much as I did last night or we're we gonna find some faults with it um, and I come in here and I'm like whoa this is kind of cool so let's go over again how it works so on the wall here we have just a piece of plywood and we have two hooks um, we have this guy right here with a rod and then we, it also has a lip on both sides here. It's just a little board, just a piece of scrap. This hooks on here. Okay, we have a piece of scrap here. And in order to bring this table up, we just put it, we rest it there, and we connect it to the lip in the back. And um, there we go. This is really, I guess, what you would call a prototype, a first attempt to create something. And this would be like, okay, I figured out I like this design, now you could go ahead and make a nicer version of it, something more finished. Um, but for this space, this is perfect, I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, so I'm just kind of really happy about the way it works, primarily how easy it is. Initially, this was a little garden shed, right? This space here, and then I can you know convert it into this livable space I mean this is uh, has insulation and <laughs> um, all the different parts and there's a bunch of videos about that if you're interested but it's kind of freeing that you can go from thing to thing because I always come back to woodworking here and that's why I have the, the bench and the tools and that is really great um, but then it's fun to also kind of go into other things and maybe you need some space for that and maybe you don't and now um, I have this space but my favorite here is taking a corner that wasn't used for something and now it's almost like I increased the square footage of the space right which really I didn't <laughs> I just made it more um, a little bit more useful um, if you want to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon. Um, I'll put a link in the comments below. We also sell wax polish that I make and ship out all over the world. So you can pick up one of those if you want for your woodworking project. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. One of the things I've realized over time is if you have a designated spot for something, you are so much more likely to do it. If you have a little area where you have your paints set up, if you have like 10 or 15 minutes in between something, you can just like, ah, sit there and doodle a little bit. Whereas if it's not set up, uh, you're like, ah, it's too much work to set it up, so you don't do it. So then I was like, okay.